Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Joby Pro phone mount, which uh, there's also a version for tablets, which is basically the same but bigger, as far as I know. And then uh, this is now connected to a Gorillapod, which you can get together with this, but I'm sure you can buy this separately because this, you know, just disconnects and uh, it's just connected via a standard uh, photography quarter inch screw. And uh, this is the best phone mount that I've used. It's by far the strongest and just really nice and easy to use and it holds onto the phone really, really well. And so it uh, connects like that. So that both locks this or brings that up and down and adjusts the tilt so that you can uh, tilt the phone like that. And then that locks both of those. And then here there's one for tilting like that. But this is, uh, this is with teeth here. So you can hear that that has just specific places where it can lock. What that means is that you don't have unlimited uh, options for tilting. You sort of can move it up and down in, in little steps, which I don't like that. Even though in theory that is stronger, but how strong do you need the mount to be to hold a phone? And so that's, that wouldn't have been my choice, but it works fine. It hasn't been a problem. Uh, just, you know, if you want to make tiny adjustments, then that's not going to do it very well. And then uh, what I would say is I would definitely prefer something like the previous ones, which were just a bull head. Uh, so here's one of the smaller ones. It's got the same size uh, gorilla pod there, but this is one of the versions that has an included bull head that's not removable. So it's just part of the tripod. And so, um, so you just have adjustments in all directions and it's nice and strong. That is my preference. And uh, you could easily do that by connecting the pro phone mount to here like that. This is the example. Uh, this is Joby's previous older phone mount, which by the way is still a good option if you want something that's super compact that fits in your pocket. Then this one is super, super, super tiny and portable and is actually still very good. But if you want something that holds on really well, then this one's better. And you could easily connect this one to there on top of that. So you could easily have both of those, but it becomes quite a quite a large thing because you've got one mount there, one adjustment there, and then another one there. It's not a problem, but uh, I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit large that way. And now over here with the, uh, the place where it holds the phone, there's a nice, uh, nice size there, really nice sort of clamp. When I first got this, uh, this was getting a little bit stuck, this uh, thing right here, but after a few minutes, it sort of loosened up and it's fine. And um, yeah, and it's made partially of metal, which is one of the reasons it holds on really, really nice and tight. I just really wish that there was a way to swivel this because this doesn't have a swivel built in. It's got just a tilt up and down and a tilt that way, but there's no swivel. You literally have to move the entire tripod to swivel it or have an entirely different head underneath it to swivel it. But overall, I think it's, uh, I think it's a really good product but just really needs a, a possibly just a ball head under here instead of this mechanism right there. As you can see, one of my uh, uses for it right now is it holds my phone really nicely. And then I put that on a gorilla pod and then that's connected to my camera. So I can see what I'm doing because my camera has no flip screen because Sony, someone there said, no one uses a flip screen. Who needs to see what they're filming? Someone actually said that I'm pretty sure. Another potential use for this is as a camera shoulder support stabilizer kind of thing. So this is going to be really useful and much more stable than hand holding it. I'd prefer this over nothing, but I would choose the SLR zoom, which is the, uh, which is the larger version. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you found this useful. If you want to support the channel, then you can buy this through the links down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.